Hello and welcome to the 27th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at setting the shape colour. We'll be using the source code from the 23rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Up till now we have created various shapes, but the colour has been set by SFML using the default properties, which was white. Fortunately for us, SFML provides easy to use methods for setting a shape's colour. Let's go ahead and open up our project. To set the colour, just do the name of your shape. So in our instance, it's circle dot set fill colour. Then we're going to do SF colour, and now we can choose from a variety of colours. I'm going to choose cyan. If we just run out, actually, one second, comment this out, show you what it looks like without setting the colour. It will just be a white circle. Now let's just put this back in and we'll get a cyan circle. There we go, we have our circle that has been filled in with the color cyan. We can also use custom colors by specifying the RGB values, aka red, green, and blue. And to do that, comment set a second, we just do the name of our shape, dot set fill color. Um, but instead of specifying Instead of doing SF colon colon color colon colon, we just do brackets and now we put our RGB value. So we're going to put 255, so basically it'll be full red. It ranges from 0 to 255, as this says right here. Now for the green, we're going to put 155, and for the blue, we're going to put 155 as well. Now let's just run this. There we go, we sort of have like a pinkish colour. You can specify a fourth parameter when doing this, which is the alpha aka opacity. Zero is invisible, 255 is fully visible. So I'm just going to put the alpha as 55, so its opacity will go down quite a lot. As you can see, it is barely visible, and it's at roughly about 20% visibility. The final colour property we can set is the outline colour, but let's just get rid of this so we can see it better. And to do that we just do the name of our shape, dot set outline colour, and for that we just do SF colour blue. Let's run this, and uh, if we just run it, there'll be something interesting that happens. There is no outline colour because by default the outline thickness is zero. So we need to actually set the thickness as well. First let's set the thickness to a positive number which will expand the outline colour outwards. So if we just do circle dot set outline thickness with a positive number, so I'm going to put 10. What it's done, because you you can see on these two parts here, you can't see the outline, and it's not because he hasn't drawn it, it's because it's expanded it outwards, but if we change it to a negative number, it expands the outline colour inwards towards the centre of the shape, so if we just put this at minus 10 now, there we go, we have the outline that is expanding, but towards the center of the shape. Now, thing to note, you can use these color methods on other shapes. They aren't just restricted to circles. That is it for this tutorial. In the next part of the series, we're going to be looking at setting the shape's texture. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at solarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.